There is a place that has been described as Europe meets Hawaii. A place that also adds a mix of Iceland's volcanic beauty. The islands are largely untouched and yet to be discovered by tourists. A place that has remained relatively off the radar. The pure, unspoiled landscapes of these islands are beginning to be noticed. We got the geocache. And an amazing view, just one right after the other. Here on Seo Miguel. Right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, in the Azores. It's part of Portugal. And the adventure starts right here in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is tea. And this is how tea is made. Mm, tea. To make green tea, the specific leaves are shriveled, steamed, rolled, dried, polished, and then separated. To make black tea, the specific leaves are shriveled, rolled, oxidized, dried, and separated. This is rolling the tea. The purpose of rolling is to break down the tea leaf cell walls enough to have some inner compounds interact with the air. This process increases flavor and aroma. Can't let any tea go to waste. We also got to witness packaging the tea, loose and also in traditional bags. Now it's off to sample some tea. Tea goes great with some local treats. It was an excellent cup of tea, for me, not being the tea drinker. But now, let's get the nearby geocache. Well, that wasn't very sneaky at all. It's right there, easy to find. Just as easy as it was to find the tea. If you had a chance to walk through a tea plantation, would you take it? We did. We were right in the middle of it already. Roughly 900 miles from the coast of mainland Portugal, you'll find Europe's only two commercial tea plantations sprawling along the hillsides of São Miguel Island's north coast. 200 years ago, orange production was king, but blight brought that to a grinding halt, wiping out the orange plantations. As a result, crops like tobacco, sweet potato, pineapple, and tea were introduced. Experts from China were brought in to teach the islanders how tea is grown, harvested, and produced. The sound of the wind in the trees, oh, it's amazing. It's so beautiful here. Oh, 
Oh, Superbach, okay. Yeah, that's from Portugal. Yeah. Excellent. The trail was fun, but I think it's time for a beer, beer break. break. Yeah, and they come in these cute little bottles. Oh yeah. They're really cute, they're tiny. Well, it's a great place for a geocache, especially being a waterfall. But the only way to get there, it seems, is to walk across the top of the waterfall, the lower one. And uh, we're not quite prepared to do that on this vacation. Otherwise, we would. And uh, we don't want to ruin our vacation by starting with a fall. And it's a good one. So it wasn't so bad after all, and not even a wet toe. So now we're gonna go find the geocache. That's amazing. Is it a fern or a palm tree? That palm tree that I thought has fiddleheads on the top of it. And that giant fern looks like it grows up into that. I I don't, does anybody know? Can you leave a comment in the section below? We have no idea. You're at two meters? Wow. It's a two, two, and it's a small. Okay. I'm not looking for an animal. Yeah, there's some rocks that look like they've been placed. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, found it. Got it. <laughs> it's not all beer and tea plantations, you know. It is somewhat about geocaching in a really cool spot right here by the waterfall and a beautiful stream in the jungle of this amazing island. While we're here, we're going to get an earth cache, and we have to go to three locations, and pretty much three other waterfalls. while stopping to look at the view at the lookout. Ooh, we found a sneaky one. There was a cache here. Always got to check for a cache when you stop. That's right. That is a two, three. Really? There should be a higher range just for the fear factor. <laughs> I know, we had to scramble across the rocks. But you definitely don't want to fall on well, lava. And is this today the arch collapses? Oh no, don't say that <laughs> now that we're over here. <laughs> 
The geocache was wrapped up in a black plastic bag under the rock, making it a little bit harder to find, but she got it. Oh, look, there's meat. Meat? Well, that is an awesome place to end oh, this video. That was pretty scary going out way out on the point, but it was amazing. Well, if you get the chance and you can do it, by all means. It, uh, we made it look pretty easy in the video, <laughs> but you should have seen us crawling across the lava. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely one place you do not want to fall. So thanks for joining us here on Sao Miguel, and make sure to come back again. Yeah, keep watching. There's more caches to be found. Yep, where will geocaching take you?